hometown of Houston, Texas, should be very proud of what he was able to do tonight. Continues to evolve and grow. He said he was going to be once again become the champion. Lo and behold, he did it once again. The WBC Super Welterweight Champion of the World from Houston, Texas, Jermel Charlo. Lions only is in the building. Appreciate it. Thank you. I know the last time I was here, I was uh, her feelings and shit, you know what I'm saying? Fuck my life. Oh, man, what did you learn that ball? Man, let's give it up for Tony Harrison. Man, I love seeing the respect you see the two. Tony Harrison was the champion. He fought his butt off. And Jamel, before we go to you, I want to introduce Tony, and then we'll get to the both of you. But Tony Harrison in Detroit should be very proud of this man as well. What a performance from Tony Harrison, gracious in defeat. Tony, we'll get to comments from you, but first we will give it to the champion, Jermel Charlo, with his esteemed trainer, Derek James, his uncle, his family is here as well. Jermel, the floor is yours. Opening comments on how you feel after recapturing the WBC Super Weight Championship of the world. I mean, it's, uh, the feeling is ecstatic. Um, it's, uh, it's not normal, and I know when he won the title, it wasn't normal for him. Uh, just getting it back. I've been here before, I won it before. And um, Tony put up a hell of a fight, you know what I'm saying? He had a game plan, he listened to his people. I had a game plan, I listened to my people. Um, despite all the shit talk, you know, he, he, he a funny dude, you know what I mean? I, I, I started enjoying the shit, just listening to him, man, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> we really got something going on, you know what I mean? But, you know, we can all, we boxers, we all say each other crazy. I mean, shit on the outside where we, we are. We respect any man getting in the ring. It's not easy. Tony, opening comments. Fuck my life, man. Fuck my <laughs> life. Uh, you know, I, yo, I mean, I don't think other people understand how much I, how much I put into that shit, man. You know what I mean? But you know, being off a year, man, coming against somebody that fucking tough and strong. You know what I mean? Uh, like we had a game plan, and you know, the first time we fought him, we boxed him. He came out so fucking wild this time. And, and it wasn't even like like nobody's like that much stronger than the next, but it's just like for me, I felt like my, my game plan had to switch. Like I said, I'm good at adapting, and I told myself like in my mind, fuck what my father was saying. I'm like, you got to dog the dog, and that's the way I had to put it today. I'm like, shit, fuck it. I mean, if you gonna go out, go out, but you got to dog the dog. He he was he was the, he was the, he was the dog. Everybody in the world consider him a dog. I feel like I pushed him back every round. I feel like I was comfortable. And um, but it's boxing, man. And, and when you're going to get somebody like that, you can't be like lax one second or one round. And that's that's what happened, man. You know, I got lax for one second or one round. He hooked, I hooked. His shit was a little shorter. I ain't see it. And it just kind of knocked me off balance, man. Kind of kind of stunned me a little bit. I, I pushed Jack Reese off because I, I didn't want him to stop it. I'd rather I'd rather go out a little harder than that, but. You know, you know, Jack is championship referee, man. You know, cool. the, the bitch earned it, man. I made sure the motherfucker earned it. Like, I'm like, I, I can't get this bitch back like this. Not this easy. So I just had to push, man. But damn, I, man, hurt me, man. I need this one bad as fuck. Like, I wanted this bitch like with my whole life. I, I would have. Damn. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> he killed it. He killed it, man. But hey, he earned it, man. Like. Ain't nothing I can say, man to man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I dog him if I, if I need to dog him because oh, it'd be on some whole shit, but my shit, man to man, he earned that shit. He earned that shit no today. Ain't nothing else to say. I know. <laughs> and why don't we acknowledge real quick Jamal Charlo, the brother of Jamel in the house, the champion supporting his brother once again, the champion. Great to see Jamal. Also, Thomas Hitman Hurds. From Detroit, the Hall of Famer, came to support Tony Harrison. Uh, were you not entertained tonight? As we will open it up to the media for more questions. I think we definitely had a fight. Good shit, bro. Good shit. You put up a fight. Hey, Jermail, you had two great knockouts and knockdowns, man. How were you feeling after that first knockdown and then the second? I mean, like I said, I'm always surprised whenever I try somebody. I'm not a. Uh, I, I, I definitely know I, I pack a different type of punch for very heavy hands, um, and I was excited. You know what I mean? I, I went out there for the kill, thinking I could get it early. I knocked some guys out in the first round before, so it's like uh, could have ended a nice short earlier. But he's a tough dude, tough individual. 
Right here. Right here, guys. Champ, congratulations on getting your title back. Tell us uh, exactly what was going through your mind as you went into deep waters. Did you feel like that you had to make a statement at the latter part of the fight and then you didn't hurt you at any point? I know I have to step it up. I never got hurt in that fight. Um, you know, Tony threw some solid shots, but you know, when you do got to get later in the rounds, it's when the, the will, the, the willpower got to come in, play a major effect. Um, and like I said, it was it, it was tough. You know what I'm saying? We, not a lot of people. I don't know how many people in this room, you know, go 12 and it's just banging. You know what I mean? I had a lot to prove, so did he. So it's you know, it, it's a different type of war. How close did you feel it was on the cards? Um, I don't know. I really wouldn't. I I, I was just in it. You know what I mean? I really wasn't. I would, I would, I was letting my co my coach. I definitely felt like uh maybe he he got maybe a few rounds. Um, I know the early knockdown helps speed up the scorecard for me, but I know um he he did, you know, have some some good rounds. You know what I mean? And that's boxing. Before we get to the next question, the scorecards at the time of the stoppage, 96-93 on two scorecards in favor of Charlo, 95-94 for one to Harrison. So that was Mike. Congratulations, Jamal. After all the controversy in the first fight that you felt you won, how good did it feel to remove the judges from the equation? Um, you know, that's the, that was the, the, the all-around goal. You know, I wanted, I wanted to score the knockdown, the knockout, you know. And you know all the shit he was talking, I, everything that he was saying, and it just led and built, you know, was building up. Um, and hey, that's that's the that's the initial goal. That's what I wanted. I got it. It's so exciting. Do you think you're gonna get a unification in 2020? It's a great possibility. Uh, you know, I, I I I am a promoter. I can't say that, you know, but um, I got I got I got people advisors and people ahead of me to control some of those things. Um, if, I, if I, you know, the 154 pound division, um, I'm, 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 I'm steering the wheel. Jamal, as a fighter, do you have some kind of closure to come coming back to winning in that fashion? If there was ever any doubt in mind at all? I got a lot of, I got a lot of my uh, shoulders, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't necessarily a closure. I got a lot more to handle and business to take care of in the weight division. Um, I know probably a big question is, would you do a trilogy? <laughs> That's about everything, but um, take that shit to pay-per-view. Uh, this could have easily been pay-per-view, you know what I mean? And um, Ontario did great. They showed up. Um, Fox did an amazing job with promoting and all of the things that you know we've seen. And uh, hey, it's whatever. Yeah, yeah. He could be a promoter. Promise. <laughs> Jermel, does it? The uh, question for both of you, Jermel. You know, with all the talk that came into this fight, uh, people even questioning your mental strength, your mental fortitude, does this feel sweeter than winning in any other championship fight? And for Tony, uh, again... Are you going to ask a question, then ask him a <laughs> question? Go, go ahead, Jerome. Um, You know, that's what I was trying to tell y'all, that mental sh BS is like, you know, I guess that was part of his game plan. I, I'm, I'm different. I'm a, uh, I'm a warrior, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm, I'm in a different I'm in a different ball field when it comes out of that mental shit. I've been through so much I'm like that's nothing. This is little to me. I'm just entertaining you guys and hopefully you, you, you guys can um you know continue to enjoy me and my brother as long as we you know sit on the throne as a, in, in the boxing world. You know it's, the mental thing is something that that any boxer that steps in the ring and can go 12 rounds, you better be mentally prepared for any and everything. Did all of that make it tonight the sweetest victory of your career? Though? You know. Yeah. Sweetest victory again. <laughs> yeah, it was sweet. Thank you. And uh, Tony, also, you know, you fought a great fight tonight. Um, you, you launched, you know, one of the best verbal assaults, you know, in a lead up to a fight. Does this, is it more bitter than any other defeat, being that you wanted this one so bad and everything that was coming into this fight? I mean, nothing nothing before this fight really mattered, man. I, I keep telling y'all, like, you know, how I felt was how I felt. Um, but nothing, nothing for me was more important than, than winning the fight. Um, you know, he fought his hard out, I fought mine out, man. That's 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 the name of the sport, man. You know, I guess I've been saying this for for the longest. Saturday night that the fans will win. The fans will win. I made sure that I was gonna make sure that 
the fans were gonna get something, you know, they, they, that they wanted. Man, they gonna get their money worth. Tony, it uh, seemed like you were taunting Jermel after he threw a, a few combinations and you were having fun in there. Do you think you got a little bit irresponsible defensively? Man, that's what, that's what happened, man. That's what happened. But you know what, man? Like, when you're going to get somebody that's top tier, like, this ain't no scrub. You know what I mean? Like, he not, like, no bum or nothing like that. Like, and that's, that's the thing. Like, no, in no way in the, in the boxing match, it's not basketball. There's no way in the boxing match that you can, you can find lacks. In any part of any round, man, and, and you know it just showed. You know, um, I felt like I was doing, doing whatever I really wanted to do before that, and um, I felt like certain parts of the round, I felt like I started breaking his will. You know what I mean? Because he was, he started coming forward, and I told myself like, look, you tough, yeah, you know what I'm mean? saying? You strong, just go for it. Let's see, let's see him fighting on his back foot, and I, I made him do that damn the whole night. I was catching a lot of his shots. And um, I pushed for it, man, but uh, he earned like I ain't nothing else to say, man. He earned it, man. Ain't, ain't nothing else I can really say. He, the guy earned it. I, champion, he was a champion for a reason. He earned it. Last question. Hey, Jamel, it seems like this time around uh, you concentrated a little more to the body than the, than the first fight. Um, he hit me with some good body shots, too, but let me, let me tell you that. He hit me with one. I, he didn't even see that I had my poker face on. I was like, oh. <laughs> was, 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 that, was that something that uh, you concentrated on a little bit more this time around in camp and leading into the fight uh, <coughs> since it, it, since you didn't go as much to the body the first time around? Well, I mean, this this fight was, uh, you know, the fight to show the world, like, you know, I don't know if y'all, too much, too many of y'all new faces following me, but me and my, you know, me and my brother, we, we was... I'm a boxer, you know, I was a guy that stuck, stick and move and move around the ring and, and, and did those type of things. Uh, I know this in New York, I think you're from New York. Just paid attention when I fought in D.C. Um, against Rosado, I moved, you know, I was a boxer, move around, stick and move. And then, you know, me and Derrick James stick around and some things and walk them boys down. And, and it just, it, and, and Tyson influenced my game and made me much better. So, you know, you got to be able to, you know, being a champion, you got to be able to do the things that you learned your whole career. I know, uh, you know, I could tell Tony been working with some some vets like like Hearns himself and his father. They he boxed before. I don't know if y'all remember his father. Um, he was a welterweight contender, major guy up there, and 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 you could see the the, the age in, in in a fighter. You know what I mean? And, you know, I I try I brought out some things. You know, I brought out more than just that old stock walk down type of fighter. Tony wanted to come forward. Oh, okay, come forward. So I could set some traps. So I uh, came forward, bagged up, threw some body shots, and just try to um, do as much as I can to win that fight. I knew I was getting close. I didn't want it to get close. I knew it was some late rounds that he was edging. You know what I mean? And, and uh, I didn't want it to be, uh, you know, that wicked feeling again. You know what I mean? So I looked over at my brother. Lance Stover, I'm seeing him only one moving in the crowd at that moment. He was communicating with me with that twin shit. So, <laughs> and uh, it was time to step it up. All right, thank you. All right, guys, thank you so much to all the media for coming out. Yeah. Happy holidays. I want to say, I want to say, like, thank you know, I I appreciate Tony. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I, you know, I don't know. I am about whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm 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 a good dude. I'm about whatever. I got a family. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. He got a family, he got a team and everything else. Um, he a fighter, he a great fighter actually. He did his thing, you know, he, he I is it tonight. And, um, hey, that's all she wrote. With that, thank you very much. Happy holidays.